Here we have two different functions. Function f takes an input, multiplies it by 2, and then adds 3 to get an output, or f of x equals 2x plus 3. And we've got a function called g, which takes an input, multiplies it by 3, and then takes away 5 to get an output, or g of x equals 3x minus 5. With composite functions, we are looking at what would happen if we ran these functions one after the other. So if we put something into f, got the output, and then put that into g. Or if we did that the other way around, if we started with g, and then ran f after it. We write this as either, if we run f first, that's g f of x. And you can think of that as putting the entire f function into g. Or if we run g first, it will be f g of x. The same as putting the entire g function into f. So with g f of x, we're taking the entire f function, which is 2x plus 3, and putting it into g. So we're changing x, we're changing the input for the g function to 2x plus 3. So we're going to have 3 times 2x plus 3 take away 5, which we can expand the bracket. So 6x plus 9 minus 5, or 6x plus 4. So what we're saying is if we run the f function, and then the g function, that's the same as multiplying by 6 and then adding 4. If we run the g function first and then the f, that's the same as taking the entire g function and substituting into f. So it's 2 times 3x minus 5 plus 3. So expanding the bracket, that's 6x minus 10 plus 3 or 6x minus 7. Let's look at some examples of this. So we've got two functions, an f function and a g function, and we're being asked to find an expression for g f of x. That means putting our f function into g. Let our total f function, all of our f function, so 3x minus 1 into g. So g of 3x minus 1. So we're changing x into 3x minus 1. So it's 2 times 3x minus 1 plus 7. So expand the bracket. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 negative 1s are negative 2. So we've got 6x minus 2 plus 7, which is 6x plus 5. So g f of x is 6x plus 5. How about f g of x? So taking the g function and putting it into f. So the g function is 2x plus 7. So we're going to do f of 2x plus 7, which is 3 times 2x plus 7 minus 1. So expanding the bracket, we've got 6x plus 21. 6x plus 21 minus 1 which is 6x plus 20. Okay, two for you to try, so give them a go. The first question, find an expression for f g of x, so putting g into f. So it's f of 5x plus 4. So that's 3 times 5x plus 4 minus 8. If we expand the bracket, 3 times 5x is 15x. 3 4s are 12. So we've got 15x plus 12 minus 8, which is 15x plus 4. And we've got g f of x, so putting f into g. So g of 3x minus 8. 
which is 5 times 3x minus 8 plus 4. So that's 15x minus 40 plus 4, which is 15x minus 36. Two more questions here. We've got an f function and a g function still. The first question this time says, find the value of f g of 2. So we're putting 2 into g and then putting that into f. So we're going to put 2 into g first, find out what that is, and then we're going to put that into our f function. So let's do g of 2 first. which is going to be 2 plus 2 squared. 2 plus 2 is 4, so 4 squared, which is 16. So we're putting 16 into our f function. So we're going to do f of 16. We've changed, so g of 2, we know that's 16 now. So we've changed that to 16. f of 16 is 2 16s plus 5, which is 32 plus 5, 37. Question two, find the expression for g f of x plus one. So we're going to put x plus one into f and then put the answer to that into g. So let's work out f of x plus one, which is going to be two times x plus one plus five. Expanding the bracket, so we've got two x plus two, two x plus two plus five, is 2x plus 7. So f of x plus 1 is 2x plus 7. We're going to put that into g. So we're doing g of 2x plus 7. And g is x plus 2 all squared. So we're going to have 2x plus 7 plus 2 squared, which is 2x plus 9 squared. Squared means multiplied by itself. So we've got 2x plus 9 times 2x plus 9. So we've got to expand the double brackets. I suppose we could leave it as 2x plus 9 squared. We could leave that as our answer. That's a perfectly good answer. I will carry on just for fun. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times 9 is 18x. 9 times 2x is 18x. 9 9s are 81. So we've got 4x squared plus 36x plus 81. As I said, we could have left their answer as 2x plus 9 squared. That is a perfectly good simplified answer. But if you were to carry on, that is what you'd get. Okay, two for you to try, so give them a go. Question one, we've got find the value of g f of negative five. So let's put negative five into f. So we do f of negative five first. So that's three lots of negative five plus ten. Negative fifteen plus ten is negative five. So we're putting negative 5 into g, which is going to give us negative 5 squared plus 2. Negative 5 squared is 25. 25 plus 2 is 27. And question 2, find an expression for f g of x. So we're putting g into f. So it's going to be the same as f of x squared plus 2. So 3 times x squared plus 2 plus 10, which is 3x squared plus 6 plus 10, which is 3x squared plus 16. And to finish up, we've got two more questions. So pause the video and give them a go.
question one, we've got our f function, f of x is 3x minus 1. Our g function, g of x is 5x minus 4. We want the value of g f of negative 2. So let's put negative 2 into f. So f of negative 2 is 3 lots of negative 2 minus 1. Negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. So we're putting negative 7 into g. So g of negative 7 is 5 negative 7s, which is negative 35, minus 4, negative 39. And question 2, write an expression for fg of 2x. So we're putting 2x into g, and then that answer into f. So g of 2x is 5 times 2x minus 4, which is 10x minus 4. Now we're going to put that into f. So we're doing f of 10x minus 4, which is 3 lots of 10x minus 4, minus 1. So 30x minus 12 minus 1 which is 30x minus 13. Question two. First question, find the value of gf of negative 3. So negative 3 into f. f of negative 3 is 3 lots of negative 3 minus 1. Negative 9 minus 1 is negative 10. And then we're putting that into g. So g of negative 10 which is going to be negative 10 squared minus 4, so 100 minus 4, which is 96. And the second question, we're putting x plus 1 into g, and then that answer into f. So we're putting x plus 1 into g, so g of x plus 1 is going to be x plus 1 squared minus 4, so that's x plus 1 times x plus 1 minus 4. So we're expanding the double brackets. So x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. 1 times x is x. And 1 times 1 is 1. So collecting the like terms, we've got x squared plus 2x minus 3. So that's g of x plus 1. We're going to put that into f. So f of x squared plus 2x minus 3 is going to be 3 lots of x squared plus 2x minus 3 minus 1. So that is 3x squared we're expanding this bracket, so multiplying all of the terms by 3, plus 6x minus 9 minus 1, so 3x squared plus 6x minus 10. And that is our answer.